Jimmy Olsen, issue three, Matt Fraction, rating with Steve Lieber on the art. Um, I'm going to start with something here. This is my last issue of this book. I'm good. I can move on with my life. Really? Yeah. So, Pete's a terrible person. I'm good. It's not for me. <laughs> he, he hates comics, obviously. Oh, I, man. I like you know, I've not been as hot on it as you guys have, and I was reading this issue, and everything that I want them want them to do with this, they they keep ignoring. Like you know, be any last issue with Lois is coming to help, him, and they're like it's like the final scene of this book where Lois shows up. Yeah. You know, yeah. so much of it's We're... set before he went to Gotham, and I was excited We're... about him being in Gotham, and there's been so little of it, and I'm just it's, the... it's annoying me. The body double scene with Metamorpho was one of my favorite things in comics this year. I was laughing, like genuinely yeah. laughing out loud. Yeah. I do not do that often while reading a comic. It, it basically his friend who died and who I'm sure will pop back up because we don't know what happened. Nobody, no death. But for all intents and purposes, you know the Star Labs guy that you know found this dwarf star matter in whatever made Jimmy a clone of himself. Why? Because he could, I guess. And as he is setting that up, someone tries to kill him and and shoots the, the clone body. I just, I love what the, what the whole reason he made it is as an assassination decoy. So, oh, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. Assassination decoy. Uh, and, and, you know, Rex is there going, hey, hey, why do you even need that? How many people actually want to kill you? It's like, you know what? Yeah, right, now yeah. that you mention it, and then immediately like three gunshots come through the window yeah. and, and take out the body. Right. So that's all good stuff too. But then we get some cool character stuff with Luther, which I like the fact that Fraction's pitting Luther versus Olsen. Like these old Metropolis families. Uh, so much and, and whatnot. in this. Right. And that... He, so the 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 Luther Lion, or what was it called? The was the, the statue the, the that lion, got destroyed. Yeah. And there was a box left inside, and it's and it's basically you know left to Luther because it was his family statue, and he cracks it open and he takes up his whatever of the year award. It's this glass, really prestige looking award, and uses it to break open the box and cuts his hand. And I thought right here is the ultimate the ultimate character moment for Luther in this, that he's actually getting his hands dirty. Now. Yeah, and, and it's again uh, to, to show how different he is from, from Superman. He's like, uh -huh. oh, he, he's a man. He bleeds. Yep. Just and, doing simple things. And if he bleeds, so, we can kill him. I mean, sorry. Wrong that's word. right. <laughs> and so in this box is, is Olsen family stuff. It's it's Joachim Olsen's... Uh, Monocle. His his monocle, a a small like Derringer pistol, and a family photo, and it's like, well, why was that in the capstone in the Luther? So I'm, I'm starting. I'm willing to bet that the Olsons and the Luthers are much more connected, yeah, because we open with old uh -huh. Olson hanging uh, Luther or Alexander as, as they are known as the family name at that point. Right. And and it, it, it's Lu Lutheria. What's the full Luthay, name? Luther Alexander. Yeah. So they're not the Luthers yet, right? But this is the family we're expected. And my Superman history tells me that that in modern canon, Lex is from Smallville, and he ends up in Metropolis. So I don't know if this is going to play into that, and that that in order to get out of the Olsen family shadow. Well to be fair, Matt, I think whenever we yeah. get the Lex was in Smallville thing, it's always the idea that they've moved there. It's not like the family is meant to have come from well, Smallville, right? I'm I'm wondering if that's, yeah, we're going to find this. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if that is, because here, I'm just getting the feeling that the Luthers and Olsons are intertwined, just because that dude's last name that says he'll, he'll curse him later, right? It, it's not Luther, right? That's his first name. Yeah, and then and it's and it's flipped. So I'm not wondering if like what who we know is the Luthers, right? Spin out of the Olsons. I wonder how continuity this actually is, because I mean, if you go off of recent Justice League, for example, um, mm -hmm. you know, Lionel was a a drunk old bastard, right? Uh, and but not kind the, of. not the scion of Metropolis in in the, in the way that they're presented as this old family. No, but also he he also ran that government project, right? That's true. He did, yeah. That led to 
So that might have been the later years. Yeah, yeah um, you're right. Right? So it still doesn't counteract that. He's still reaching out to Lois. Lois has her spelling. There's a, there's a, da- a, a, a jab. A jab. Uh, at yeah, her she spelling. tries to correct the grammar, and she's like, right. "Yeah, well, spelling matters too." Yeah, and that's what he, she goes, you know, but not as not as much as you know, you would think. So it feels like it's very much in continuity, despite being, you know, not seeming like it, it, it's just touching that continuity, mm. um, because that whole scene in in New Oberstad, it just him not not killing him. And sending him away, uh, and then by the time we see that family picture, it looks like Joachim Olsen is is much older. There's been generations, like he has grandkids, you know, white beard and all that. Uh, yeah. So, you know, was this the blood feud where it started? Is it this Hatfield McCoy thing, or is there something else going on? Um, but you still have the Jimmy shenanigans, where you find out that that Luther basically tried to have him killed. With the, the the whole turtle thing that we saw that led to the crashing into the to the statue, yeah. They and then let's not the... forget about the porcadillo, right? Which so I, I, goes... I guess is a cross between a porcupine and an armadillo. An armadillo, yep. Yeah, and that uh, it goes and attacks the lawyer, right? Yeah, we, or, or so we think. We also find out that that Miss Denise, it's Denise, right? Yes. That that works in that office, lives in Jimmy's building. Because yes, she's the because one that's checking. Yeah, if, to be fair, he's okay. the, the the landlord lawyer, is, is right. his name. So that yeah, so makes sense. There's a, yep. So there's all these little threads in here that are going, but still, someone's trying to kill Jimmy Olsen. We might think it's Lex. Though that's what we so believe, because whoever it is has, you know, these uh, connections that are there. But I'm starting to think maybe it's not Lex. It's too obvious. Even though, even though all of Jimmy's red strings lead right, right there. But if you also notice who's on there, his older brother's also on there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and look on at boards. Go, go look at that board, and he's featured very prominently. Yeah, I need to find it. It was in this issue somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's the uh, last page. Last page. Ah, oh. I'll get that. Uh... Okay, yeah, I see it. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he is there quite quite heavily. You, you and have he the, has, uh, like, the, question mark links. Right, right. You also have uh, uh, Pirate Patch Bendis there. I think that's pretty funny. I'm looking for um, oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that Dr. So, Fate so down at the bottom? Connected to Dr. a B? Maybe, um, you have that, 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 the girl from, from the special is connected through the cat, which, which we've seen, uh, who's, who's Dexter, right? Um, but yeah, and then the other funny scene is where he, you know, goes to his own funeral, he buries the, the signal watch, but Superman's still listening, so he knows what's up. I like that so little I'll, moment where he's like, hey, look, I yeah. know you're listening, and, and this mm-hmm. is just so I'm not tempted to just call for help. i got to do this on my own. Right. That Superman pals, Jimmy Olsen is dead, and it's this really stoic moment. And he, and he puts, puts his, his head down, head down. on the cap. And he's wearing a fake mustache, like Bruce. Uh, yeah, and he wasn't before. You know, no. Like two pals, so, uh, long so that's what he... Long live irresponsible blogger, Timmy Olsen. Timmy Olsen, as if that's going to help out. Yeah. Anymore. Who, might, who might have a mustache? I haven't decided yet. Yet he was supposed to help the grave digger. And they know, just walks off with the shovel. shovel with the shovel. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, "Hey, dude, that's, that's my shovel. I need that." Yeah. So uh, it's a shame that Pete's done with this one because I'm I'm excited to see where this goes. This, this has quickly uh, become one of my favorite books that DC has published. It's it's real fun. Um, Great. And then yeah. uh, you know the, the next time uh, you know. Because it, it ends with, with him going, yeah, it's probably pretty hard to bring down Lex, right? It's like, yeah. yes, very hard. Superman's been trying for, like, 80 years. 80 years. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, again, tying into the Superman stuff, it all feels kind of contained. If this even is full on continuity, I can see them doing some screwy stuff, but... I, I laughed really hard about him with the, the, the tinfoil wrapper uh, chain yeah. that he's got. 
pay oh, for Oh, for the door because it looks like a... So, you know, he's in Gotham, and, you know, we've seen his apartment. It, it looks completely haggard. And then Lois comes in, and she kind of kicks down the door. Yeah, he's like, my chain. She's like, wait, is that the bit of paper? And you can just see it taped yeah. onto the wall, and it's just and, the show. And he's like, yeah, because foil's the only thing that looks metal enough to look like a real chain. Because yeah. he can't afford one, so I thought that was a bit of fun humor there, too. It was, yeah. Whew, but yeah, Jimmy Olsen. Sorry, Pete. Well, I just, I, like, those amusing bits here or there, I just, I don't know. The, I think it'll probably read better in, in trades when you can just binge yeah. it. Because well, it, I, I like the out-of-order nature of it, where it's piecing things together. Yeah, uh, this is actually one of the few books I think reads really well monthly, as opposed to in trade. Um, uh, P- Pete's there might read better when it flows, but for me... The fact that each segment just kind of plays off something else in the book and just, you know, it hints at things and we're yeah. jumping around. It works really well monthly because of that format for me, yeah. because I don't feel like I need to remember every detail because it really naturally reminds me of things by jumping through all these segments. Yeah, I, I feel the complete opposite. Uh, for me, this is like, I've enjoyed each issue less than the last one because, uh, like, everything I get excited about with the next issue being ends up not being what most of the next issue is. And I think this would be fine if I was reading it all in one go because it would just be an order story that's happening. Um, but yeah, there's several segments in this where I was just kind of like, eh, you could have cut that segment. <laughs> you could have cut the yeah, segment. Yeah, there's, there's not a single segment I thought <laughs> about. Uh, so it's just not for me. You guys can keep reading it, enjoy it, and yeah. do, do what you want to do. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done. I, it's, it's, you know, this is a six out of ten for me. This issue. Um, wow. What are you giving it, Matt? This is an 8.5. I, I enjoyed a lot of this. Connor? Yeah, I'm gonna a 9. I loved it. See, I, I, I don't get it. It's fine. You know, you guys knock yourselves out.